Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're gonna be putting together the Odroid VU8 8 inch touchscreen for the Odroid C2. This is kind of a sponsored video. Ameridroid sent this over for review. I'm not getting paid for this at all. Just wanna let you know before we get started. There's a couple things that don't come with the kit you will need, like a screwdriver, small Phillips, and I also recommend a pair of tweezers. You will also need some storage media like an EMMC module. I'm gonna be running Android 6.0.1. You can also use an SD card if you'd like to. There's a little bit of configuration to do with the boot.ini file. You can access this on a Windows machine or Linux as soon as you install it. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. So as you can see, we have the screen itself. This is a 1024 by 768, 4.3 inch aspect ratio. We have the back plate. We also have all the accessories we'll need like the HDMI adapter, the power adapter, and the touch adapter. And finally, we have the control board itself. This is where the magic happens like touch input and HDMI signal. We also have our five volt power in and a little HDMI adapter on the side here. So there is a tutorial on Hard Kernel's website, but I'm gonna show you how to do it here. It's fairly simple. They make it seem a little harder than it really is. Let's go ahead and get started. For step one, this is what we'll need out of the kit, the control board. You'll obviously need an Odroid C2 and storage media. Now I have Android 6.0.1 installed. Here's the HDMI adapter, very important piece to this kit. The touch adapter and the power adapter. I've had nothing but trouble using this lead here. This is supposedly used for brightness on the screen, but I can't get it to boot with it inserted, so we're not gonna use that. Let's go ahead and install our EMMC module. Just makes it easier. If you're using an SD card, you can do that. So we're gonna grab the control board here, and as you can see, there's an HDMI adapter pointed inwards. And we're gonna need to slide the supplied HDMI adapter in here like so. We're gonna take the Odroid, line it up, and plug it right in. Super simple, and it fits so nice. We're gonna need to get power to the Odroid, so we're gonna grab the dual micro USB adapter, plug one into the Odroid C2, and the other end to the control board itself. Now we need to add touch. We're gonna grab the other micro USB to USB adapter, plug one end to the far right USB ports on the Odroid C2 and the other end into the other micro USB port on the control board. So you have this done, everything fits really nice. We're gonna go ahead and insert this into the back plate. So here's the back plate. I have the screws that was supplied with the kit and a small Phillips head screwdriver. I also have the control board connected to the Odroid C2. It's gonna fit right in here. Now there are eight screws that need to be put in. Make sure it lines up. You might have to finagle with it just a little bit. But when it's in there, you know it's in and it fits so good. We're gonna take this other USB cable here and just kind of tuck it down as best we can. That's gonna supply touch from the Odroid C2 to the screen. Now we're gonna put our eight screws in. I'm just gonna put in one for this video, but you need to put all of the screws in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, the one I put in. So eight screws hold the Odroid C2 and the control board in the back plate. Now it's time to connect the touch screen. Make sure you have this cable down. Right here we have two connectors that we need to mess around with. I'm gonna leave pictures up now so you can see how this is inserted. You need to be careful with this because these are very fragile. That's why I recommend using tweezers. So you're not gonna be able to see it too well in this video, but here are some pictures from the Hard Kernel website. It shows you exactly how it goes in here. So 
So after you're positive the connections are correct and snug, we can place the touch screen down. Now this does have snaps on it, so go ahead and snap it in place. There's also four screws that hold the back plate to the screen itself. We're almost done here. It's a pretty simple project minus the connectors on the inside. The little ribbon cables are kind of hard to get to if you have big hands. I will put the four screws in. Now all of these screws on the back side on the inner case do not need to be torqued down super tight. They just need to be snug. You don't want to strip them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the other four screws in and boot this thing up. So here we are. I had the Odroid Wi-Fi adapter. I'm just going to plug it into one of the three USB ports on the back. And this screen does not come with a power supply. I'm actually using an Odroid XU4 power supply. It's four amps and it works great for this unit. We'll get the hard kernel boot screen because I'm using Android. We should boot right into Android and I'll be connected online. There we have it. Touch works so good on this. There are 10 points of touch and the camera really doesn't do the screen justice. Even though it is 1024 by 768, it's very vivid for such a small screen. So I'll just go to my YouTube channel real quick and we'll start a video. Full screen it. So this screen will work with other Linux distributions for the Odroid C2, but I find Android is pretty much the way to go with a touch screen. Now you could always plug a mouse and a keyboard into this, but why waste the touch screen when we can use it? It has 10 points of touch, very responsive, and it looks really good. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to get a hold of one of these, you can visit Ameridroid.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Like always, thanks for watching.